In this series of videos, I'm showing you how to use the Microsoft Visio Pro 2019 desktop app to build org charts that are linked to Excel data. This video will teach you how to connect a Visio organization chart to an Excel employee list, including how to create a permanent link between your Visio org chart and the list of employee data in Excel that you used to initially create the org chart, how to show the shape data pane and how to show the external data window, how to use the quick import command, and how to refresh the org chart if the Excel data changes. In the previous video, we used Visio's organization chart wizard to build the org chart you see here based on this list of employee data in an Excel file. Obviously, the employee name, department, and job title appear on the org chart shapes. And if we view the task pane called Shape Data, and then select one of the shapes on the org chart, the same three Excel columns, or fields, appear as shape data. This gives the impression that there's a link between the employee list in Excel and this org chart. However, if we look at the Data tab of the ribbon, at the Refresh button, it would be enabled if there was a connection to an external data source, but it's not. Visio's Organization Chart Wizard can create an org chart from Excel data, but it does not connect the org chart to the Excel data. I wish it did, but it doesn't. We have to do it, and here's how. On the Data tab of the ribbon, in the Show Hide group, turn on the checkbox for External Data Window. If a connection existed between this Visio org chart and some external data file, the data would appear here. To create a link or connection, either click Quick Link Data to Shapes here in the External Data window, or the Quick Import button on the Data tab of the ribbon. They do the same thing. In the Data Selector dialog box that appears, click the Browse button, and find and open the same Excel file you used during the Organization Chart Wizard. Then click Done. It shows its progress, and once it is completed, click Done. The Data Graphic Fields pane opens automatically. We don't need it right now, so I'll close it. Our rows and columns of Excel data appear in the External Data window. These chain link icons indicate that each row of data, each employee, is linked to a shape on the org chart. Now, when we change the data in the Excel sheet, the org chart will reflect those changes. Our president, Becca, has decided to go by her full name, Rebecca. And she has given her longtime executive assistant, Terry, a well deserved increase in salary. We'll save those changes and then switch back to Visio. To update the org chart, click the Refresh button I mentioned earlier to refresh the external data. The Refresh Data dialog box appears. When the refresh is complete, click Close. In the External Data window, we see Becca's name has changed to Rebecca. And Terry's salary has updated as well. More importantly, the changes appear on the shapes and in the Shape Data pane. Notice that the Shape Data pane includes every column from the Excel employee list. As I taught you in the previous video, it doesn't matter which Excel columns you choose to include as Shape Data fields in the Organization Chart Wizard, because you get them all anyway when you establish this link. Success! We have created a connection between the org chart and the Excel list, and the link is working great. Watch the next videos in this series to learn why you should use ID numbers instead of names, how to improve the look and layout of your org chart, and much more. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and add a positive comment. If you want live instructor-led training, either in person at our sunny Long Beach, California Training Center, or remotely from your location, check out our training classes at AccelerateComputerTraining.com, where we teach software like this every day of the week. And, oh, if you like my shirt, visit JohnnyO.com for very cool clothing. And no, they're not a sponsor. I just like his style.